Well, I, I, I suspect that there was some frustration there as, as some of you didn't get a chance to talk about that person in your, in your background, your history, that was that serving person for you. Because those people occupy a very special place in our hearts. And just remember that as you think about demonstrating servanthood to your child, how it's going to place you into a special place in their hearts. What a wonderful promise that is. Well, it's time for legacy point number two, and that is use your gifts to serve. The, the source of this comes from Proverbs chapter 22, which you may have heard before, uh, or you may not have. But, but if you have, you might have heard it and, and thought it had a different meaning. Here's what it says, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. Now, when I first read that verse, I thought it meant you raise your child to be a good little boy or girl, to be obedient, respectful, uh, etc., etc. And it, it might mean that, except when you look at the original Hebrew, it actually says, train a child according to his bent. That's an old English saying for, according to the way he is. In other words, according to his personality, his giftedness. Wow, does that change things? Now, what this is saying is, we are to be students of our children, to watch them as their, their personality emerges and their gifts and their skills come out. And then we need to train them to use those in a direction that would be godly, to, to accentuate the gifts that God has placed into them in their personality. Train a child in the way he should go. So we talked about this as we prepared, and we said, you know what? This is kind of like having our kids be in their sweet spot. And, and uh, the, the definition we would use for that is the combination of what and who and where those two over, intersect or overlap. Do something, what, that you're good at or like to do for someone you care about. And if you're doing something you like to do and are good at for someone that you care about, that's serving in your sweet spot. And when you do that, you'll be fulfilled, you'll have a high self-esteem, and you'll see your life count for something. I can remember watching my kids grow up, and Caleb um, was good at soccer. And he also had a heart for special needs children. And while he was in junior high, went to do a soccer, weekly soccer camp for special needs kids. And uh, it helped shape him as one who knew he could use his gifts, serve, and it was an enjoyable experience. And he was making an imprint in the world. And by the time your children leave home, don't you want them to leave with that expectation that I am going to leave an imprint, not based on what I'm going to pull out of the world, but what I'm going to give to it and how I'm going to serve? Wow. Roger, your story about Caleb reminds me of Sarah, our daughter, who um, both of our daughters did some cooking at home with, with their mom uh, when they were kids. And sometimes they would take cookies to neighbors, to the pastor's family down the street. Uh, and, you know, they helped here and there in the kitchen. Uh, today, uh, one of the daughters um, probably would rather not set foot in the kitchen. The other one loves to cook. And if she could uh, have her way, every time there's a family gathering, she'd like to be in the kitchen preparing the meal. That is her sweet spot, doing what she loves for people she cares about. Mm -hmm. That's another simple way to see the sweet spot emerge. Let's create a, an event in your home where you have another family devotion and you're going to attach a special meaning to the towel and basin. And you're going to teach this, use your gift to serve. You're uniquely gifted. Use it. And for this, you're going to need uh, your little devotional outline that we've given you. Uh, this is a devotion based on one verse of the Bible. It's from God's Word to the Nations, but... Uh, that version, but it's also printed out in your handout. You'll also need a puzzle of your cho choice, okay? And uh, what you'll receive from us, a little bit of fabric paint, which is very, very carefully handed, handled. Uh, you might also use a, uh, a brush for that. And you're going to end up letting your child put an imprint on their towel. And we do have towels that actually have a globe on it so that 
you, the picture is your child's handprint is touching the world. Give them a big vision that God can use them and their gifts to serve others and touch the world. Here's the devotion. Let's go through it quickly. The warm-up question is talk about something you did to help someone this last week. Answers will vary. And after that, sit them down and read along together the Bible verse, but take out three words and let them pronounce them. Now, one word they can't pronounce probably, but you'll have to teach it to them. Each of you as good as a good manager uh, must use the gift that God has given you to serve others. Simply talk about those three words. What does it mean to be a manager? It's a lot like taking puzzle pieces and putting them together. And invite your child to put the puzzle pieces together and say, did you know that you just managed this puzzle piece by putting all the pieces together right? Now I wonder what God wants you to manage, not just puzzles, but what does He want you to manage? Then you talk about gift. Well, what are your gifts? What do you really like doing? And let them and be a student of your child and draw out the things that you notice in them. Also, not just talents and abilities, sports and, and drawing, but also character traits, compassion, uh, honesty, uh, encouragement. And then uh, you use these gifts, you're going to manage these gifts, you're going to put them in the right places where you're going to serve others. And talk about some people that they really care about, they like to serve. Think of people like the person that gets picked on at school, or the neighbor that needs a friend, or maybe it's people in a, living in a different country or a different part of the city. So broaden their way of thinking that they have got these special gifts that God's asking them to manage or to put in a place where they use them to help other people. Now, now's where the fun part begins. You're going to go by the kitchen sink and we have some instructions there you want to follow so that you don't make a permanent mess, such as what you put under your towel so it doesn't bleed through and you make sure in your old clothes or apron, you hold your child's wrists as they go down. You know, you know how to do this handprint thing, some of you. So, and then you, you put that on there and then you make some observations about that. You know, there's only one handprint in the world like that, and that's you. And I really believe in you that God's going to use you to serve people. And it is going to make a difference in this world your whole life long. And then at the end of the devotion, it's time to pray. And this is a chance for you to speak a blessing into your child's life even as you pray. So as you reflect on the gifts that you see in them, those character traits, etc., thank God for those. Have your child hear you thanking God for those things that you see as valuable in his personality, in his gift mix, that you think God could use him to, or could, could use in him to make a difference in the world. That will be a powerful time. And then repeat that prayer, perhaps for weeks now. Just continue to pray and maybe single out one or two of those and just ask God to keep those on your heart and just plant those thoughts in your child's heart and mind. After that, this is the towel and the basin that we're going to present at the church service when we give them a blessing to uh, serve um, just as Jesus served them, okay? As you break into your small groups, why don't you talk about what would those characteristics be? Maybe two or three or four things that you think of when you think of your child. What would be the things that you that just come to your mind. I guess this is a chance to brag on God here <laughs> and how he's, how he's, what he's done in your child's life and how it makes you proud and happy. Let's talk and, and we'll see you back here in a few minutes.